Carl Shorten Athletic for Folkestone in Victor 2 today. Carl Shorten came from behind to get the three much needed points as they push on towards the playoff positions. I've been joined by Jonathan, who's a bit of a Robin's TV regular now, and he's brought Grandad along with him today. Uh, Grandad, come on in, tell us how you thought about the game, first of all. Uh, what a game that was. I'll tell you what, beating Folkestone sends a statement. Folkestone are a Premiership side, 2 1 down, come back and beat those 4 2. That was an unbelievable result. What's the chat like behind the goal? Because I know that you stand behind the goal during the match with the fans. What, what's the chat like there? Um, first half, first 10 minutes, it was great. Then after that, when Folkestone got back into it and went 2-1 up, boys were a bit nervous. But second half performance was superb. Did Folkestone sit back or did we push it? I don't care. They got on the back foot and we took advantage of that. Uh, today, today we didn't start very well and then second half we came out and I don't think they even had a shot second half to be honest so we did really well second half and Harry Ottaway was great today. We will get to your hat trick but first of all we went in at half time 2-1 down. What, what did Peter and Keith say in the interim to get you boys back on the right foot? Um, well first and foremost it was like communication. You've got, got to be talking, um, got to be aware. Just because you're not on the ball doesn't mean you're not involved in the game. Um, so you have to be body shape, just everything really. Um, it, was, it was positives because we was getting at them, but we had to rectify the negatives to then push on for the second half. Let's have a word about um, Harry Ottaway. He's joined the club about just over a month or so ago and what an impact he's actually made and he got a hat-trick today. Harry's been immense and he's, uh, apparently he's not 100% fit either yet, so when he is 100% fit, who knows what he can do, but he's hat-trick today, he deserved that. Yeah, well, I'm thankful I'm playing for Carl Shorten because I don't want to be playing against him. Um, but he's got everything. He's great in the air. He's passing ability. He's finishing. He's short today. It was out that you wouldn't want to play against him. No, no. Uh, yeah, one of the best strikers in the league by by far. You got things kick started off very early. It's a, a pass by the player manager, wasn't it, that put you through? You just turned and smacked it into a top corner, and I thought, here we go, rubbing my hands, thinking we're going to get five or six here. Yeah, yeah. It was a, another nice one to add. Um, yeah, it literally just. Didn't just see where the goal was and just hit it as hard as I could. A bit like my first one. Favourite goal out of the three? First one. First one because he hit that really, really hard. Keeper just got his hand to it but couldn't keep it out. Have you got, have you got a favourite goal that Harry scored this afternoon? Probably the second one. I just liked it. Fair enough. What was your favourite goal of the three that you got today? Um, probably the third one. Uh, partly because Tommy who's a fantastic player, um, he held on to the ball and was looking for the run, I made the run and uh, yeah, just slotted it home. But it's, it's nice when you're playing with players that can hold out for them runs and look for them runs, so I appreciate that from them massively. I mean, it, it seemed to take an age to actually get over the line, didn't it? I was kind of out of my seat watching it go and I was like, is the defender going to get back? Was there any doubt on your mind? No, I think a bit like the first one, where I hit that home really, like, really hit it home, I just wanted to leave the crowd in suspense. So, yeah. yeah, Harry's just leaving now, geez. Stealing my thunder. <laughs> and play, place his match ball on the mantelpiece. On the mantelpiece yeah. Yay. There is the match ball itself. What a treat that we've seen. <laughs> what did you make of Harry Ottaway's hat trick today? Oh, I was delighted. It was great, it was great to see a great performance from my, my hometown. So, yeah. So it's nice to show the Swedish fans what Sweet Karlsjordan's all about as well. And so, uh, Thomas, you mentioned that uh, you've got something in common with our goalkeeper. Yeah. Uh, do you want to just mention what that is? He's from Sweden, I'm from Sweden. And, and, and same team. Same town. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Here he comes. Yeah. Patrick, did you know about this? Did you invite these people along? Uh, I didn't. It was uh, last, last weekend when we played Lewis at home. And uh, all of a sudden I heard someone scream, well, the, the home town I'm from. And I turned around and there were a few guys talking Swedish. And I, I was as shocked as, as ever. So... <laughs> And then they turned up today as well, and I, I told them let's have let's have a word after the game, and so I got to speak to them today, and uh, it was all fun. Was it? They weren't giving you abuse in Swedish, were they? <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. <laughs> no, I think he's going to be a good goalkeeper. Yeah. He took the chance when he's young to go to England to try out to be a better football player, so I think it's great. We've got such a good squad, such a good the bench every week. There's players that can come on and impact the game, whereas previous seasons might not have had that, might have had one or two, but now we've got five subs that will come on and impact the game. Yeah. And it's great to have that strength in depth. We need that, especially in this league, and it's, it's paying off. 
Well, it is a uh, Robin's TV debut for Luke, so I just want to ask you, could you just give the fans a little bit of your background from where you've come from to end up here at Colston Avenue? Yeah, so I started my uh, senior career at Redbridge, which was in the Bostick North at the time. And then at the age of 18, I moved to AFC Hornchurch. Okay. And then after the end of that season, I was 18 and I got an opportunity to go to America. So I went to America on a scholarship oh, nice. and I went there for four years, just outside Chicago, and then came back uh, May time last year, and then since then, uh, been looking for a new club and found Carl Shorten. So excellent. Did you did you come back and start calling it soccer? No, I didn't. No, as not, as much as my mates give me banter about it, but no, I never never called it soccer. Always football. We're now six points outside the playoffs, and last week Keith said that you boys uh, feel like you can really go for it. So another three points on Monday. We're right in the mix. Yeah, definitely. I think we've got to take every game as it comes. I know as cliche as it sounds, but. We've got to focus on the game in front of us and just make sure we keep, just keep mounting the points up. We keep taking three points from every game. We will be there. What, what do you think we're going to do that night? Because if we win, we're going to be three points outside the playoffs. So what, what do you think the team need to do? Well, we need to get our acts together. We need to start properly. Harlow will be up for it. They're fourth boss and they need, they're fighting for their survival. So we need to go out, start well, end well, and hopefully we'll get the win. Excellent. Pure and simple.